Yeah. Playing with stuff. The motion picture. Ladies and gentlemen, our Halloween week feature performers, none other than Why Wouldn't We? And um, I have to tell you, um, I'm filling in for the doctor. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry. <laughs> and over too far. Okay, uh... So, I am Gigi, filling in for the doc, and uh, so, here we go, I am the doctor, I'm filling in for, and the corpse bride is filling in for Lady Z, and uh, because the doctor and Lady Z, it's like, guys, 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 guys. Uh, they yeah, perform together. Anyway, we're going to do the first number, which is your little story. But we'll begin. You hear a blood curling scream coming from the bathroom. And now you are pissed off. 
you slam down your coffee cup. Because <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go deal with it now. And it's like five minutes into your shift, and you already know it's gonna be one of those things. So you just, you go. First person you see coming out of the bathroom is one of your, um, you get more special clients. She comes, she's crying. <laughs> You do your best not to gag. Well, I hope we can do better than that when we out of work at the end of this. <laughs> so you go into the bathroom, and now you can make out what the ghost is screaming. And she's screaming over and over again. You want to help me out? You help me out! It's all a bunch of goddamn shit, and it stinks! What the hell are you supposed to say to that? So you just knock on the door. And you ask her if she's okay, if she needs some help. You immediately regret this decision because she's now punching the bathroom stall and screaming even louder the same thing. So now you're coming. Should you call the police? Should you call them in the white coats? Or do you need to call Ghostbusters? <laughs> Well, the rest of your staff is coming <laughs> And they're trying to deal with her, and they're all failing miserably. And then you realize nobody is watching the other clients. And if they're not watched, somebody might end up killing somebody. And then you're going to be sitting there writing an incident report till midnight. It's just feels so goddamn inconvenient. So you go out perpetually. You don't see how they get the ghost out of the bathroom, but you do pull out a pen and pad, and you write this story down to share. And your feature at open night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
for a short dream. And then the religion is a religion. They sound just like Dr. Drew. Hello there, Bellatrix. Yes, 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 this, this one is entitled. Kind of Floor to the bed. It's entitled The Headless, Headless Night nice. by Rim Kasia Floor to the Oh, I'm a fan of this one. So we're going, uh, this is chapter one, uh, page two, paragraph three, 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 three. Exactly. No, I would like to tell 
Uh, I would like to ask uh, his lordship about in regards to this castle. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about this? And he goes on and tells about this castle, and anybody who's ever spent the whole night there has been beheaded, supposedly, by the Headless Knight. Well, you know, they debunk it, and they're willing to spend the night there, so they go over there. And then they go there, and uh, they uh, go to the day, she's been, she's been given a remote, she presses a button, and the drawbridge uh, goes down, you know, the driver calls it, right up the castle, and the double doors open,
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Realistically, guys, we have time for about or, one lady. Excuse me. My pleasure. That was the figurative broad joke. Actually. Um, we have time for two more. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Two more stories. Two more pieces. Any, any pieces you want? Okay. Two stairways! Two stairways! Two freebirds!